Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to convene the virtual public hearing for the proposed improvements to State Highway 114 in Tarrant County. Thank you for joining us. My name is Ricardo Gonzalez, and I serve as the Director of Transportation Planning and Development for the Fort Worth District of the Texas Department of Transportation, better known as TxDOT. Given the unique circumstances of the COVID-19 outbreak, along with our commitment to protecting public health during this national emergency, TxDOT is conducting this virtual public hearing to avoid in-person contact. At this time, the virtual format will be in lieu of an in-person public hearing. The presentation will cover the same information the Fort Worth District would have shared at, at the in-person public hearing, which was originally scheduled to occur on March 26, 2020, but was postponed because of the COVID-19 crisis. However, the common process for this virtual public hearing will be different from what we normally conduct at an in-person hearing and will be explained shortly. All project information can be found on the TxDOT website. I would like to welcome and thank you for watching this virtual public hearing. During this presentation, we will be covering the following areas. A project overview, environmental overview, project schedule and next steps, the public comment process, which will be different than our in-person public hearings. I will provide more information on this in a few minutes. Adjournment, which will conclude this video presentation. In a few minutes, I will introduce our presenter, Carrie Miller, who is our consultant project manager for the preliminary design of the proposed improvements to State Highway 114 in Tarrant County. The Federal Highway Administration, otherwise known as FHWA, reviewed and approved documents prepared under the National Environmental Policy Act, known as NEPA. However, on December 16, 2014, the Texas Department of Transportation assumed responsibility from the FHWA for reviewing and approving certain assigned NEPA environmental documents. This Memorandum of Understanding was renewed on December 9, 2019. This review and approval process applied to this proposed project. This virtual public hearing presented by TxDOT is being provided to share information and to encourage comments from the public regarding the proposed State Highway 114 frontage road ramp and intersection improvement project. Notices for the virtual hearing were published on the TxDOT website on Friday, April 10th and appeared on the Fort Worth Star-Telegram on Sunday, April 12th, 2020. The notice was also mailed to adjacent property owners and elected public officials. TxDOT is committed to continuing our efforts to gain public feedback about the project. We understand this virtual public hearing format is a bit different, so let's take a few minutes to explain the common process, which is the most important part of this video. Given our current COVID-19 situation, the Fort Worth District is asking the public to provide their comments in the following ways. Comments can be made throughout the comment period and will be included in the hearing documentation. One. You may email your comments to thomas.marquardt at txdot.gov. Mailed in comments can be made throughout the comment period and included in the hearing documentation. Mail your comments to Lowell C. Bussell, District Engineer, TxDOT Fort Worth District, 2501 Southwest Loop 820, Fort Worth, Texas 76133. To make a verbal comment, call 469-552-9986 and leave a voicemail when prompted. Verbal comments can be submitted from 6.30 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. on Thursday, April 30th, 2020. After that, comments can still be made via email, U.S. mail, or online at text.gov webpage and email. All other options for submitting comments are available until the comment deadline of May 15th. Additionally, you may submit your comments online. Visit www.txdot.gov. In the search text.box box in the upper right hand corner of the webpage, enter the search term SH 114 frontage roads. Then click on the submit your comment 
button at the top of the right of the page, or click on the email link at the bottom of the page. Most importantly, please be sure to submit your written comments no later than 15 days after this virtual public hearing. Your comments must be received or postmarked on or before Friday, May 15, 2020, to be included in the public hearing summary. The responses to your comments submitted during the comment period will be included in the virtual public hearing summary report. This summary will be posted to the Textile web website when finalized. We appreciate your understanding with this comment process. Before we begin discussing the project details, I would like to acknowledge our local project partners that have participated in the development of this project, including the City of Southlake, the Town of Trophy Club, the Town of Westlake, and Tar Tarrant County. These entities have assisted the state in moving the project forward by dedicating right away and or through positive coordination during the development of this project. Regulations require the department to afford an opportunity for a public hearing for any project that requires the acquisition of significant amounts of right-of-way, substantially changes the layout or function of the connecting roadways of the facility being improved, adds through lane capacity, or has a substantial adverse impact on abutting real property. Also, the department must consider the economic and social effects of such a project, its impact on the environment, and its consistency with the goals and planning by the communities involved. During project development, TxDOT held a public meeting on October 23, 2018 to receive your input. This virtual hearing now provides you with an update on the project and serves to inform the public of the project design. This virtual hearing offers a review of the environmental analysis and provides the public an opportunity to provide comment. Finally, this virtual hearing will develop a record of public engagement and collect formal statements. A notice of the virtual public hearing was published in the Star-Telegram on Sunday, April 12, 2020. The virtual public hearing notice was also posted on the TxDOT website on April 10, 2020. Joining property owners, elected and public officials, and stakeholders were mailed individual notices on Thursday, April 9, 2020. Joining property owners were identified by using county tax rolls and previous public meeting records. Therefore, if the tax rolls were updated after the list was prepared or you did not attend the previous meeting, you may not have been included in the mailing list. I now introduce Carrie Miller, the engineering consultant project manager who has been assisting TxDOT with developing the engineering design for the proposed project. Mr. Miller will describe the purpose of the project and key aspects of the project design. Thank you, Ricardo. The State Highway 114 corridor connects the city of Southlake, the town of Trophy Club, and the town of Westlake. It is an east-west corridor in Tarrant County, Texas. Currently, there is a lack of frontage roads in the area limiting mobility between the communities of Southlake, Trophy Club, and Westlake. The primary purpose of this project is to enhance connectivity and to improve mobility and safety along this travel corridor through the city of Southlake, town of Westlake, and town of Trophy Club in Tarrant County, Texas. The proposed project is needed because access in the area is limited due to the lack of frontage roads. Between FM 1938, Davis Boulevard, and Dove Road, the only frontage road is in the westbound direction between FM 1938 and Kirkwood Solana Boulevard. This proposed project will complete this gap in the State Highway 114 frontage road system between FM 1938 and Dove Road. New business developments along the State Highway 114 corridor in the city of Southlake and the town of Westlake are generating large volumes of traffic and this traffic is currently using local roadways for access because of a lack of frontage roads along State Highway 114 in this area. Once the proposed frontage roads are built, traffic from the new developments will be able to use the proposed frontage roads. Additionally, emergency response will be enhanced by providing alternate routes when incidents occur on the State Highway 114 main lanes. In addition to this virtual hearing, there has been another forum for input from the community. 
a public meeting was held on October 23, 2018 to present information about the project design and schedule and to receive public comments. TxDOT carefully considered all comments received during overall evaluation of the proposed project. In consideration of all comments received and further project development, no changes were made to the design or project description. The proposed project extends approximately 2.28 miles along State Highway 114 from Farm to Market 1938 Davis Boulevard to Dove Road within Tarrant County. This existing typical section represents the existing roadway features looking southeast. Depicted here are the existing six-lane freeway main lanes with three lanes in each direction. The main lanes have variable width shoulders within a right-of-way ranging from 295 feet to 475 feet in width. This existing typical section depicts an existing westbound frontage road, which is located between FM 1938 Davis Boulevard and Kirkwood Solana Boulevard and consists of one 14-foot shared outside lane and one 12-foot inside lane with one foot offsets on each side for curb and gutter. The existing westbound frontage road is separated from the existing westbound main lanes by a grassy median. Access to the existing State Highway 114 main lanes is provided by entrance and exit ramps to cross street intersections. The existing entrance and exit ramps have a current diamond configuration. This typical section represents the proposed roadway features. The project would add proposed continuous two-lane frontage roads along State Highway 114 from FM 1938 Davis Boulevard to Dove Road to increase connectivity along this travel corridor through the cities of Southlake, Westlake, and Trophy Club. A proposed auxiliary lane will be added along the existing and proposed frontage roads between exit ramps and entrance ramps. The schematic also depicts a proposed fourth main lane to be added within the existing median in each direction. These additional main lanes, which are denoted by the yellow arrows, will be built as a future project. The proposed project would also reverse some of the existing entrance and exit ramps from their current diamond configuration to a proposed X configuration to increase mobility and to enhance safety along the State Highway 114 main lanes and frontage roads. This slide depicts the addition of U-turn lanes along State Highway 114 for both eastbound and westbound directions at Kirkwood Solana Boulevard. The proposed U-turn lanes are shown in purple. This depicts the addition of a U-turn lane along State Highway 114 for the eastbound to westbound direction at Dove Road. The proposed U-turn lane is shown in purple. The project was developed with an estimated budget for construction costs of approximately $31,800,000, which excludes costs for utility relocations. The project would be funded through an 80-20 split of federal and state funds, with the City of Southlake contributing $3 million toward the construction of the project. Environmental clearance is expected in June of 2020. Construction of the proposed project is anticipated to begin in the fall of 2020 and open to traffic in 2023. The environmental review, consultation, and other actions required by applicable federal environmental laws for this project are being or have been carried out by the Texas Department of Transportation pursuant to 23 USC 327 and a Memorandum of Understanding dated December 9, 2019, and executed by the Federal Highway Administration and the Texas Department of Transportation. Environmental studies and technical reports in support of a categorical exclusion determination have been prepared in accordance with the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA. The documentation covers the social, economic, and environmental effects of the proposed improvements and includes detailed information assessing impacts associated with the project of the following. Air quality, archaeological resources, biological resources, community impacts, hazardous materials, historical resources, 
traffic noise, and water resources. The proposed project follows the existing roadway alignment and is approximately 2.28 miles long. Approximately 4.8 acres of new right-of-way and approximately 5.6 acres of new temporary construction easements are proposed. The new right-of-way and the new temporary construction easements have been acquired and will be dedicated to the Texas Department of Transportation by the City of Southlake and the Town of Westlake. No residential or commercial displacements or relocations are anticipated for the proposed project. The proposed project will construct continuous pedestrian sidewalks along the proposed westbound and eastbound frontage roads between FM 1938, Davis Boulevard, and Dove Road. The proposed project will also construct a 14-foot wide shared outside lane for bicyclists along the proposed westbound and eastbound frontage roads between FM 1938, Davis Boulevard, and Dove Road. Permanent vegetation impacts would consist of approximately 0.41 acres of riparian vegetation, 22.8 acres of urban vegetation, 2.85 acres of cross timbers consisting of post oak woodland vegetation, and 0.23 acres of disturbed prairie vegetation in the project area. Trees located in temporary construction easements and which are determined to conflict with proposed roadway improvements will be replaced according to best management practice recommendations provided in the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department 2013 Memorandum of Understanding and Local Government Ordinance. The project area provides potentially suitable habitat for the auriculate false foxglove, Osage Plains false foxglove, Texas milk vetch, Topeka purple coneflower, Henslow sparrow, western burrowing owl, Louisiana pig toe, sandbank pocketbook, Texas heel splitter, Texas pig toe, Texas garter snake, timber rattlesnake, and the plain spotted skunk. Coordination with Texas Parks and Wildlife Department was required since the project proposes impacts to potentially suitable habitat for these species. The project commits to implement the appropriate species-specific best management practices for the species which may be impacted by the proposed project activities. Coordination with Texas Parks and Wildlife Department was completed on May 16, 2019. The proposed project would occur within the FEMA-designated 100-year floodplain associated with Kirkwood Branch. The hydraulic design for this project would be in accordance with current Federal Highway Administration and Texas Department of Transportation policies. The proposed project would not increase the base flood elevation to a level that would violate floodplain ordinances or regulations. Coordination with the local floodplain administrators is required. Approximately 243 linear feet or 0.075 acre of permanent impacts is proposed at Crossing 1, which includes Kirkwood Branch, and approximately 207 linear feet, or 0.049 acre, of permanent impacts is proposed at Crossing 2, which includes an unnamed tributary to Kirkwood Branch. These impacts would be authorized under United States Army Corps of Engineers Nationwide Permit 14 for linear transportation projects. A pre-construction notification would not be required by the United States Army Corps of Engineers. TxDOT would comply with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality's requirements to implement a stormwater pollution prevention plan. Disturbed areas would be restored and stabilized as soon as the construction schedule permits. There are no recorded archaeological or historical sites located along the proposed project nor are there any sites currently listed on the National Register of Historic Places which would be impacted by the proposed project. The project would have no effect on archaeological sites or cemeteries. No consultation with the Texas Historical Commission or State Historic Preservation Officer is required. If unanticipated archaeological deposits are encountered during construction, work in the immediate area would cease and TxDOT archaeologists would be contacted to initiate post-review discovery procedures. 
the proposed project would not result in any adverse impacts to historical resources. The proposed project would not require the use of any publicly owned lands from a public park, recreational area, or wildlife or waterfowl refuge area of national, state, or local significance. The project is in the EPA designated serious and marginal non-attainment area for the 2008 and 2015 ozone national ambient air quality standards, respectively, in accordance with 40 CFR 93.121, the project is regionally significant and is consistent with the currently conforming MTP and TIP. Therefore, hotspot conformity requirements do not apply. Adverse impacts to air quality are not anticipated and mobile source air toxics are expected to decrease in future years. Construction of the proposed project would include drilling of bridge piers, excavation, and other earth-moving activities. Such activities have the potential to encounter hazardous materials and substances associated with past human activities. No hazardous materials concerns were identified for the proposed activities based on an initial site assessment. Any unanticipated hazardous materials impact encountered during the project construction phase shall be addressed in accordance with regulatory requirements and TxDOT standard specifications. A traffic noise analysis for the proposed improvements has been conducted. For this project, the traffic noise model utilizes existing 2020 and 2040 traffic forecasts for determining noise impacts. The model primarily considers the number, type, and speed of vehicles, highway alignment and grade, and surrounding terrain features. The existing and future noise levels were estimated using noise receivers. These receivers were in representative areas where frequent human activity occurs, such as single-family residences or apartments. The noise modeling indicates there could be an impact for the Vineyards of Trophy Club apartments, Breadwinner's Cafe, 11 homes in the planned South Lake Meadows development, and an individual residence located west of State Highway 114 and south of Dove Road. Noise abatement measures, including noise barriers, were evaluated for businesses and residences. A criterion of $25,000 for each benefited receiver was established as the threshold for implementing noise abatement measures. Modeling indicated that noise barriers would be feasible and reasonable for incorporation into the project for the vineyards at Trophy Club Apartments. Several areas along the corridor are currently undeveloped. To avoid noise impacts that may result from future development, local officials should ensure no new activities are developed within the noise impact contours. The noise contour for activity categories including items such as residences, daycare centers, hospitals, parks, playgrounds, and schools is estimated to range from approximately 380 feet from the proposed right-of-way, dependent upon location along the corridor. The noise contour for the activity category including items such as motels, offices, and restaurants is estimated to range from approximately 157 feet from the proposed right-of-way. Based on the studies thus far, the environmental investigations indicate that the proposed project would have no significant impacts on the quality of the human environment. Revisions may be made to the environmental documents to either update them or address the needs of the state and federal agencies. Revisions may also result from consideration of public comments received during the comment period. After all necessary revisions are provided, a categorical exclusion determination is anticipated for this project. Property rights needed for the expansion of the Texas highway system are required under the guidelines of the Uniform Relocation Assistance and Real Property Acquisition Act of 1970 and the various subsequent addenda. This law requires fair treatment of property owners whose property is required for a public purpose and establishes the process for the acquisition of property interest and the relocation of displaced persons or businesses. Further, is the policy of TxDOT 
that individuals impacted by transportation system expansion shall not be denied benefits, excluded from participation, or otherwise subjected to discrimination based on the grounds of race, color, sex, age, handicaps, or national origin. The state's authority to acquire property for the transportation system is founded in the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution of the United States. This authority can be used only when there is a demonstrated public need for the property and the property owners are compensated with just compensation. Just compensation is defined as the fair market value of the property needed plus an amount for damages that might accrue to the remaining property because of severing the required right-of-way from the whole property. The primary purpose of the project is to enhance connectivity and to improve mobility and safety along this travel corridor through the city of Southlake, town of Westlake, and town of Trophy Club in Tarrant County, Texas. The proposed project is needed because access in the area is limited due to the lack of frontage roads. New business developments along the State Highway 114 corridor in the city of Southlake and in the town of Westlake are generating large volumes of traffic and this traffic is using local roadways for access because of a lack of frontage roads along State Highway 114 in this area. Emergency response will be enhanced by providing alternate routes when incidents occur on the State Highway 114 main lanes. This virtual hearing is part of the process of demonstrating the public need. As previously stated, each impacted property owner is offered just compensation for the property needed for the project. To arrive at this value, independent appraisers are hired to prepare detailed appraisals and establish value. These independent appraisers are highly regarded professionals in our community bound by professional and ethical standards to produce property values that reflect true market conditions. A written offer to the property owners is made based on the value determined in the appraisals. The owners are given a minimum of 30 days to consider the offer. This proposed project will require approximately 4.8 acres of new right-of-way and approximately 5.6 acres of new temporary construction easements. The new right-of-way and the new temporary construction easements have been acquired and will be dedicated to the Texas Department of Transportation by the City of Southlake and the Town of Westlake. No residential or commercial displacements or relocations will be required for the proposed project. Right-of-way brochures that explain the program in more detail are available on the TxDOT website, which is currently shown on your screen. This brochure can be requested from a local TxDOT office, which includes the TxDOT Fort Worth District Office, located at 2501 Southwest Loop 820 in Fort Worth, Texas, zip code 76133. Or you may call Tom Marquart at 817-370-6772. This brochure is also available at the TxDOT North Tarrant County Area Office located at 2501 West Euless Boulevard in Euless, Texas, zip code 76060. You may also call Ali Mamanzeda at 817-399-4300. I will now turn the program back to Mr. Ricardo Gonzalez who will explain the process for public inquiries. Thank you, Carrie. All information developed concerning this project, including the environmental documentation, is available online. The next slide will provide you with information on how you may access project information and materials on TxDOT's website. Please note that the public may call project staff during regular office hours or email project staff to ask questions about the project at any time in the, de in the project development process. You can contact TxDOT Project Manager Thomas Marquardt by calling 817-370-6772 or by email at thomas.marquardt at TxDOT.gov. I want to reiterate that TxDOT is committed to continuing our efforts to gain public feedback about this project. 
I'd like to take a few minutes to recap the comment process for the virtual public hearing, which is the most important part of this video. The Fort Worth District is asking the public to provide their comments in the following ways. Comments can be made throughout the comment period and will be included in the hearing documentation. 1. You may email your comments to thomas.markward at txdot.gov. Mailed-in comments can be made throughout the comment period and included in the hearing documentation. Mail your comments to Lowell C. Bussell, District Engineer, TxDOT, Fort Worth District, 2501, Southwest Loop A20, Fort Worth, Texas, 76133. Verbal comments, call 469-552-9986 and leave a voice message when prompted. Verbal comments can be submitted from 6.30 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. on Thursday, April 30th, 2020. After that, comments can still be made via email, mail, or online on the text.gov webpage and email. All other options for submitting comments are available until the comment deadline of May 15th. Submit your comments online. Visit www txdot.gov. In the search text dot box in the upper right hand corner of the webpage, enter the search term SH114 Frontage Roads. Click on the Submit Your Comment button at the top right of the page or click on the email link at the bottom of the page. Most importantly, Please be sure to submit your written comments no later than 15 days after the virtual public hearing. Your written comments must be received or postmarked on or before Friday, May 15, 2020 to be included in the public hearing summary. The responses to your verbal and written comments submitted during the comment period will be included in the virtual public hearing summary report. This report will be posted on the TxDOT website when finalized. We appreciate your understanding with this comment process. After review of the transcript of these proceedings and all concerns and concepts contained in the statements are addressed, TxDOT is anticipated to approve the environmental documentation for this project in support of a categorical exclusion determination. After approval is received and right of way acquired, construction may begin. We encourage the public to stay informed about the project in the following ways. First, Sign up to receive email updates. Visit www.txdot.gov and in the upper right hand corner, enter State Highway 114 Frontage Roads in the search box. Click on the upper right hand button called Subscribe to Updates. When there is a project update, an email will be sent to you. We also invite you to review the various project materials on the TxDOT website. For example, a detailed virtual public hearing layout exhibit that allows you to see the design up close is available online. On behalf of TxDOT, again, let me thank you for participating in the virtual public hearing. This virtual public hearing for Stay Highway 114 is officially adjourned. Thank you.